Boethius He who is virtuous is wise, and he who is wise is good, and he who is good is happy. It's my belief that history is a wheel. Inconstancy is my very essence. Says the wheel. Rise up on my spokes if you like but don't complain when you're cast back down into the depths. Good times pass away, but then so do the bad. Mutability is our tragedy, but it's also our hope. The worst of times, like the best, are always passing away. Nothing is miserable unless you think it so, and on the other hand, nothing brings happiness unless you are content with it. Balance out the good things and the bad that have happened in your life and you will have to acknowledge that you are still way ahead. You are unhappy because you have lost those things in which you took pleasure. But you can also take comfort in the likelihood that what is now making you miserable will also pass away. All fortune is good fortune, for it either rewards, disciplines, amends, or punishes, and so is either useful or just. Music is so naturally united with us that we cannot be free from it, even if we so desired. If there is a God, whence proceed so many evils? If there is no God, whence cometh any good? One's virtue is all that one truly has, because it is not imperiled by the vicissitudes of fortune. Nothing is miserable unless you think it so. He who has calmly reconciled his life to fate, and set proud death beneath his feet, can look fortune in the face, unbending both to good and bad, his countenance unconquered. In every kind of adversity, the bitterest part of a man's affliction is to remember that he once was happy. Wretched men cringe before tyrants who have no power, the victims of their trivial hopes and fears. They do not realize that anger is hopeless, fear is pointless and desire all a delusion. He whose heart is fickle is not his own master, has thrown away his shield, deserted his post, and he forges the links of the chain that holds him. A man content to go to heaven alone will never go to heaven. Contemplate the extent and stability of the heavens, and then at last cease to admire worthless things. He who has calmly reconciled his life to fate can look fortune in the face. So it follows that those who have reason have freedom to will or not to will, although this freedom is not equal in all of them. Human souls are more free when they persevere in the contemplation of the mind of God, less free when they descend to the corporeal, and even less free when they are entirely imprisoned in earthly flesh and blood. As far as possible, join faith to reason. Inconsistency is my very essence, it is the game I never cease to play as I turn my will in its ever-changing circle, filled with joy as I bring the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top. In other living creatures the ignorance of themselves is nature, but in men it is a vice. No man can ever be secure until he has been forsaken by fortune. So nothing is ever good or bad unless you think it so, and vice versa. All luck is good luck to the man who bears it with equanimity. A person is an individual substance of a rational nature. Who would give a law to lovers? Love is unto itself a higher law. Love has three kinds of origin, namely, suffering, friendship and love. A human love has a corporal and intellectual origin. Nunc fluens facet tempus, nunc stands facet eternitatum. The now that passes produces time, the now that remains produces eternity. Albert the Great Natural science does not consist in ratifying what others have said, but in seeking the causes of phenomena. If the excrement of an elephant should be smeared on skin in which lice appear and left until it dries upon the skin, the lice will not remain on it but will depart immediately. If the fat of an elephant is smeared with it, it is said to cure the pain of one who suffers a headache, it is even said that if an ounce of elephant bone is drunk with ten ounces of wild mountain mint from something which a leper first touched, 
it does the most for a headache. Do there exist many worlds, or is there but a single world? This is one of the most noble and exalted questions in the study of nature. This dumb ox will fill the world with his bellowing. The metals are all essentially identical, they differ only in form. Now, the form brings out accidental causes, which the experimenter must try to discover and remove, as far as possible. Accidental causes impede the regular union of sulfur and mercury, for every metal is a combination of sulfur and mercury. A diseased womb may give birth to a weakly, leprous child, although the seed was good, the same is true of the metals which are generated in the bowels of the earth, which is a womb for them, any cause whatever, or local trouble, may produce an imperfect metal. When pure sulfur comes in contact with pure mercury, after more or less time, and by the permanent action of nature, gold is produced. Pierre Abelard Love is one of those sufferings that cannot be hidden, one word, one careless look and even silence is enough to betray it. There are many things to write about much more boldly than to speak. Fake is never durable. What we sin in youth, we have to atone for in old age. Man, in essence, is a wild, terrible animal. We know him only in a state of taming, called civilization, and therefore we are frightened by the random attacks of his nature. Strong love cannot coexist with black suspicions. Avarice begins where poverty ends. Love is one of those sufferings that cannot be hidden, one word, one careless look and even silence is enough to betray it. Logic pushed the world away from me. Absolute morality, everything is forbidden. Prosperity always makes fools arrogant, and a carefree peaceful life weakens the strength of the spirit and easily directs it to carnal temptations. Faith, not enlightened by reason, is not worthy of a person. Another person has an amazing command of speech, but it is extremely poor in content and devoid of thought. By lighting a fire, he fills his house with smoke, and does not illuminate it with light. Do not believe in order to understand, but understand in order to believe. Current schools are worthless in terms of results. Only the ability to put words together without understanding is taught, as if it is more important for sheep to bleat than to feed. No one knows exactly virtue if he does not have an idea about vice, especially when some vices are so close to virtue that they easily deceive with their likeness. It's one thing to lie, it's another thing to err in speech and deviate from the truth in words due to delusion, and not malicious intent. William of Ockham Philosophy is not a servant of theology, and theology is not a science, but a complex of provisions interconnected not by rational sequence, but by the cementing force of faith. Logic, rhetoric and grammar are truly practical guides, and not purely speculative disciplines, since the above three areas of knowledge truly control the mind in its activities. No decree of the Pope is a measure of faith, but only the Holy Scriptures are the measure of our faith. A moving body and movement are not satisfactorily distinguishable. Nothing is to be accepted without reason unless it is known either as self-evident or from experience. We must not accept any proposition as unjustifiable, unless it is a logical conclusion, or something verified by experience, or a pious prescription that requires us to do this and not otherwise. You can't use multiplicity unnecessarily. It is in vain to try to do with more what can be done with less.